Okay children, welcome to my class. Today I am going to tell you the formulae of mass under the head Sanjeevni Pile 2. As we know the formulae are the lifeline of mathematics. Without knowing it, we are unable to solve any question. So that's why I am giving you the gist of formulae in a very quick way okay now listen here suppose one kilometer per hour is there and you have to change into meter per second how will you change it in meter per second this is the problem so as we know that one kilometer has one thousand meter so this will be equal to one thousand okay upon one hour, how many meters are, how many seconds are there? No, anybody know? No. Okay, so it will be first convert 60, then convert into second. 60 minutes, then 60 seconds. So now when you will simplify it, you will get, it will come 5 by 18 meter per so in order to convert 1 kilometer per hour in meter per second directly multiply it by 5 by 18 meter per second second is suppose <coughs> you have to find the area of parallelogram area of parallelogram how will you find out the area of parallelogram area of parallelogram is find out by this simple formula base into i base into i this is the formula for finding the area of the parallelogram sometimes in place of height altitude is written so same thing is there next is area of rectangle area of rectangle so as we know that rectangle has two equal opposite sides so its area will be length into breadth clear when you multiply length by breadth you will get the area enclosed in it now perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle is find out by this formula 2 length plus breadth so this is the formula for finding out the perimeter of clear now how will you find out the diagonal of the rectangle D I A G O diagonal of rectangle ok the diagonal of rectangle is find out by this formula under root L square plus B square clear? ok now I am coming to how will you find out the area of the right angle triangle. Suppose this is a right angle triangle. How will you find out area of this? A, B, C. So area of right angle triangle. This is find out by this formula 1 upon 2 base into uh, it. This is the formula for finding out the area of right angle triangle. Suppose a scalene triangle is there. A scalene triangle means whose sides are not equal. All sides differ from each other. A, B, C. Suppose this is A, this is B, this is C. How will you find out area of scalene triangle area 
दिया और इसके लिए ट्रेंगे सो इट विल बी फाइंड आउट बाय दिस फार्मूला अंडर रूट एस एस माइनस ए एस माइनस बी देन एस माइनस सी क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन सो वेयर एस इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी अपॉन टू मीन्स यू फाइंड द सम ऑफ ऑल द साइड्स देन डिवाइडेड बाय टू यू विल गेट area s the value of s then put this value here you will find out the area of the scaling triangle clear okay now coming to area of equilateral triangle e so equilateral triangle means equilateral triangle means a triangle whose all sides are equal whose all sides are equal so its area is find out by this formula area of equilateral triangle this will be root 3 by 4 side square this is the formula for area of equilateral triangle is this clear to you children okay now rhombus any tell any of you tell me the formula of area of rhombus so area of rhombus Is equal to one upon two into b one into b two means the product of diagonal half the product of diagonal. So this by this way you can easily find out the area of the rhombus. Now how will you find out the area of trapezium? Area of trapezium. Find out. Area of trapezium. So in trapezium, this is the figure. These two sides are parallel. This is the height. Okay, so area is equal to one upon two sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides into i so we can easily find out the area of trapezium by this formula clear okay so these are <coughs> the different areas now square you all you know about the square so i think there is no need of writing it i will tell you only so how will you find out area of the square area of the square in the square all sides are equal each angle is 90 degree so its area is find out by this side into side side into side clear now what is the perimeter of a square perimeter of a square perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side because all sides are equal so you can add them side plus side plus side plus side or directly multiply it by 4 you will get the perimeter of the square now how will you find out the diagonal of a square diagonal diagonal of a square so any of you can tell me how will you find out the diagonal of a square nobody knows it so i am going to tell you as you know that that square has equal sides okay so how will you find out its diagonal 
So you take look here. This is a square. All sides are equal. Let it is a. This is a. Then according to Pythagoras theorem, this will be a c square will be equal to a square plus a square equal to two a square equal to a root. This is how you will find out the diagonal of a square. Okay. So this is all about the area bounded by four sides. Now I'm going to tell you how will you find out the area of circle, cone, and all these things. So different figures. First is area of a circle. Area of a circle. This is your circle. O is its center. A is radius. This O is its radius. So area will be. Equal to pi r square. Clear? Okay. So pi r square is its area. Now what is its circumference? Circumference, or we can say the perimeter. The circumference, circumference of circle. This will be equal to two pi r. Is this clear? Okay. Now next is area you have find out. Now area of cuboid volume and surface area of cuboid. First cuboid. You know how to make the cuboid. This is a rectangle. Another rectangle. This. Okay, length, breadth, height. So volume of cuboid, volume of cuboid, this is equal to L into B into H. Then surface area, surface area of cuboid, this will be two times length breadth plus breadth height plus by this way, you can find out the total surface area of a cuboid. Now, how will you find out the area of four walls of a room? Area of area of four walls of a room. So this will be two times length plus breadth into height. By this formula, you can find out the area of four walls of a clear. Okay. Now coming to Q I Q. Okay. Now coming to Q. How will you find out volume of a Q? Volume of a Q. That will be equal to side Q. Side power 3. Because all sides are equal, so multiply all sides 3 times, you will get the volume. Huh? Now, surface area of Q. Surface area of uh, Q. This will be 6 into side square. So this is how we, we will find out the value of surface area of a cube. Clear? Okay. Now I am going to tell you how will you find out <coughs> the different values. Okay. So suppose cost price is given, selling price is given, profit percentage is given. So just tell me the formula, which formula you will use to find out the total cost price. So by this formula, we can easily find out cost price equal to 100 upon 100 plus profit percent right within the 
and then multiply it by selling price, you will get the cost price. If loss is there, then you can switch over by this formula, CP equal to 100 upon 100 minus loss percent into S. Clear? Okay. Now how will you find out the SP? When reverse, so we will reverse the things, you will get SP equal to 100 plus profit percent upon 100 into CP. Clear? Okay, now if loss is given then SP will be equal to 100 minus loss percent upon 100 and then into CP. These, this is the formula for finding up. Clear? Now, questions based on discount. So, what is the formula for that finding out? So, I am just going to tell you how will you find out that SP when discount is there. So, find out. So, SP equal to selling price equal to mark price minus discount. This is the formula and discount is always calculated on mark price. Is this clear to you? Okay. Now next. I am coming to the polygons. How will you find out the total angles and these formulas? So I am rubbing this note down. Now, if there is a point and angles are forming over there, what, what, what will be the sum of angles at that point? Sum of angles at a point. Sum of angles at a point. This is equal to 360 degrees. Clear? Okay. Then sum of adjacent angles. Sum of adjacent angle is 180 degrees. Clear? Okay. Now sum of interior angle of triangle. Sum of Interior angles of a triangle. So this is equal to 180 degree. Okay. There is a formula 2n minus 4 into 90. So by this formula you can also find out 2n minus 4 into 90. Now here n is 3, so 2 into 3 minus 4 into 90. So you can get 2 into 90 into 2. You can find out the interior angles of any polygon by this formula 2n minus 4 into 9. Clear? Okay. Then how will you find out? the exterior angle of a regular polygon each exterior angle of regular polygon right each <coughs> exterior angle of a regular polygon you will find out by this formula 360 upon n, where n is the sides. Is this clear to you children? Okay. Now what is the relationship between diameter and radius? Diameter equal to 
diameter equal to 2 into radius means radius is half of the diameter clear okay. now next i am coming to the reflection if it is reflecting through x axis y axis origin then what will be the corresponding values i am just going to tell you about this okay suppose a point is there p e, its coordinates are x y and reflection is and reflection takes place through x axis okay then new coordinate p there will be what will be its value its y coordinate will change only and this will be same so value suppose this is 3 5 after reflection to x x it will be 3 minus 5 clear now suppose reflection is through reflection so it will through y axis then coordinate will be minus x and y its x coordinate will be changed clear okay next now reflection is through origin
so i think these formulas will help you a lot for solving the questions in the easy way okay children so ye yaad rakhiye ki samay ki baat hai ki aap log mag laga kar padhai kare aur apne result ko jo hai improve kare okay children aur agar aapko ye video acha laga ho तो इसको लाइक करें शेयर करें सब सब्सक्राइब करें ओके सो so, बच्चों बंद करो सारे खेल तमा से पढ़ने में जाओ दिन रात एक करके परीक्षा में अच्छे अंक लाओ यही तुम्हारा आज है है यही तुम्हारा कल करते रहो मेहनत ईश्वर देने बच्चों इसी के साथ मैं समाप्त करता हूँ जय हिंद और भैया बंद कर दो